Hey guys, my name is Mitsumiao, and today I'm excited to say that we've finally gotten our very first true look of the reworked version of Hereford Base coming to Rainbow Six Siege with this new season. Ubisoft released a short little teaser trailer, which is what you guys are seeing right now, to give us a taste of what we can be expecting. Now, they said in an article paired with this trailer that this is basically going to be a brand new map. It is still going to feel like Hereford, and I'm going to show some side-by-side -side comparisons so we can kind of see what they've all changed, but you guys are going to really notice right off the bat that not only aesthetically is this a much different look, but also it's a much larger map. They're going to try to solve a lot of the problems that the original map had and hopefully make it much more competitive. And so the first comparison I want to take a look at is on the outside of the building near the garage. The thing that immediately stuck out to me is that while there are similarities here, clearly there is still going to be a garage section. Everything has been scaled up. The garage itself is much larger. If you look out in the distance, kind of above where the balcony normally was located, there's no longer a balcony. Where offense normally would be planting on up to try to get into that top floor, uh, there is now a gigantic room. I think this is probably the best picture that illustrates that Hereford is much larger than it was before. That balcony was quite small. Those rooms are not insignificant, and it just goes to show that they're trying to give defense defense more places to hide, more places to roam, so that they can actually be successful and have some roaming around the map. When we move on over to the front of the building, we also notice some changes. The tires are obviously gone in favor of having stone walls, and the one thing I really like is that those stone walls are right in front of the entrance. One thing that was always a little obnoxious on Hereford is that there was a lot of windows that defense could peek out and try to hit you from, but there wasn't a lot of spots that you could really hide behind while droning. It looks like they're solving that problem with those with that front stone wall. Now sadly, it doesn't pan anymore on over to the left because I was really hoping that we would get a glimpse of the entrance to the basement, or even if there is going to be a basement. If they do include it, that honestly might make Hereford Base one of the largest maps in Rainbow Six Siege. Because they're making everything larger here, if they do include the downstairs, that means we got basement first, second, and third. That is quite large. And so if they do include it, and I kind of hope that they do because that, that's what made that map unique. Uh, I really hope that they accommodate for the insane amount of roaming that that's going to allow for, especially if there are going to be multiple staircases. Eventually, you're going to need to be able to identify or figure out where roamers are, and if you have to clear out four different levels to be able to figure out where they are, that is going to be quite difficult. When we move on over into the interior, though, that's where things get a little bit more complicated. I will admit I had a difficult time identifying where some of these rooms were located. Ubisoft did did say that the rooms will share the same thing that they had before, and so I guess that this was the workshop. One thing that stuck out to me is that it seems like they're still keeping the verticality gameplay that Hereford Base is known for. It seems like they are toning down on the overall destructibility of the map, which was one of its biggest weaknesses. Offense could really just hit you from every single direction as long as they have the tools to get through all of those walls, but there is still going to be that verticality, which I think is great because that was very unique to this map. When we move on over into the hallway, I think it gives you a better idea of that very concept. All of these walls are concrete, or it appears to be that most of them are. We don't really have any idea if this is the main staircase or if this is the side staircase. I'm assuming it's the main one because it looks very similar to the one that we have already in the game right now, uh, but they have already confirmed that there are going to be other ways for you to move up and down the different levels, so this isn't going to be the only one. Moving on over into the garage, like we thought from the outside of the building, this is much larger. Now, I'm assuming that the camera is directly in front of the garage door. I say this because of the slanted rooftop on the left-hand side there. That kind of matches what we saw on the outside of the building. But the thing that stuck out to me is that, once again, Ubisoft refuses to show us if there's any indication that there is a basement. If this really is where we are positioned, there should be on the right-hand side a ladder. We don't get to see a ladder, and they just don't want to pan anywhere on the right. And so maybe there is an indication somewhere in here that I've just missed, but they don't seem to want to show off that basement section. 
Now, when we move on up to what I'm assuming is the second floor, because that's where it is for the original map, we have the kids' room. No longer is there going to be that gigantic plastic toy structure directly in the center, and there are more rooms involved in this overall. We've got beds that we can hide behind, there's going to be a dresser, there is going to be that other room out in the distance, maybe there's going to be something on the right there, maybe some destructible walls, but overall, as the theme has been, uh, there is going to be a lot more nooks and crannies that defense is going to be able to hide in. Now, for this next room, I will admit, I have no idea where it's located. I ran around this map for a while because I didn't remember there being a shower or a bathroom anywhere on it, and I was right, there isn't one. And so maybe this is the reworked version of the basement, which we haven't seen just yet, or this is a new room or an old room uh, that has been reworked completely, and this is the new aesthetic that they're going for. When we make our way on over to what I'm assuming is the TV or living room, that's where things get a bit more interesting. Now I'm guessing this is the TV room, and if that is true, that means that things have actually gotten a lot more sparse. There was a fair amount of furniture in the original map, and it seems like they've kind of condensed it right in the center there. There might be some other things that are out of our field of vision, but it seems like this is going to be very simplistic. But if this is on the first floor, just like it is on the original map, and it is the TV room, that means that that hatch is going downstairs into the basement. This is speculation because on the original map it's called the TV room and this seems like it's called the living room, but because there is a TV directly in the center there, I am making that connection. And so if this really is on the right hand side first floor of the building where the TV room is located, uh, I would believe that that hatch directly goes downstairs and that might be confirmation that we still have a basement on this map. And then finally, we have the piano room much more complicated. There's an alcove over there on the right hand side. Maybe that leads downstairs or even upstairs. Hard to say. It could just be simply an alcove. There's a lot more things to hide behind here. Once again, going along with that theme that everything is much larger and there's going to be a lot more ways for you to sneak up on your enemy. And so all in all, I am really excited by everything that we've seen so far. I know that some people might be a little saddened that this map is going to be getting reworked because they love the original, but everything I've seen so far looks like an amazing step in the right direction. If they can make this competitive, or dare I say competitive enough where it finally gets back into ranked, I'm going to be one happy camper. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on what we've seen today. Did you notice anything that I didn't? Do you like the direction of the aesthetic and what they're doing with this map? Give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.